Hello and welcome to this short video on using VVox within Microsoft Teams. To start with, we'll look at how your audience will use the add-in through Teams rather than their phones or opening a web browser. The advantage is that it's fully integrated and set up by you as a host. It means no need for your audience to enter the meeting ID manually, so it's quicker and easier for everyone. You can see now that there is a VVox icon within this team session. It's up near the chat function or the participant function. Your audience just need to click this icon and then the VVox app will appear in the sidebar. As you can see, this looks almost identical to the standard apps that you would use for VVox, but it is fully inside Teams and is 100% anonymous. That little icon there that's telling you that it's anonymous will move down the screen as you enter an agenda. So do bear that in mind when you start writing yours. As a participant, you can also click on the chat icon. You can send in your own messages at the bottom of the screen. You're also able to go and like messages that have been sent in by others as well, as you normally would as a participant. Participants can also click on the survey icon, and if there's a survey active, they're able to go in and answer that survey. And they can also go back to the info screen and look at your agenda. As a host, any polls that are created can then be answered by your attendee in this side panel. So as you can see here, we've got a poll that's just been opened. We're gonna select our choice. That response has then been submitted, and then the poll will be closed and we'll be able to see the answers. This works for all of the different poll types. So now we have a rating question. You can see that you can just click on your star rating that you want to select. Again, that response is sent in and the host will then close that poll and show the results on the screen. It even works with our new XY matrix poll. So again, you can go in as a participant and you can rank all of these different options. So you move the sliders to make your choice. And then once you've made all your selections, you press send and the results are submitted. Again, the host will then close that poll, your answers will be grayed out, and then the results will appear on the screen. That's it for this section on using the VVox add-in as a participant. So now we're gonna look at using VVox inside Teams as a presenter or a host. Here you'd just be sharing the VVox present screen as you normally would in a Teams session, but you'll notice that alongside that, you've got the Teams add-in. Now you can also control your meeting exactly the same way as you normally would. So you can manage your Q&A, you can click on questions, you can answer those questions and hide them. And you can also go in and run your polls. So we can select the poll that we want to run and we run that first poll. Again, we have the full control of our present view. We can maximize the pictures in the new picture polling. Um, your audience can send in their answers on the side panel. And as a host, you can see those answers coming in. So then when the host stops the poll, the answers then appear on the screen and they appear in the audience app as well. And that's it for this section on running VVox as a host within Teams. And for this last section, we're just going to show you how to get VVox into your Teams session. So you need to click on your calendar in Teams and then find the appropriate date and time that you want to set this particular session up. Double tap in the box and then start editing your session. You need to add one user as a minimum when you're getting set up to start with and you press send. Once you've done that, you can go back and you can right click on that session and press edit. And in this section, you're then able to add all of the various elements that you'd like to add to your session, such as the meeting notes and the whiteboard. And if you click the plus, you're able to then find VVox. VVox will always appear in this optimized for meetings section at the top here, but you may need to click in the search function there and actually search for VVox. So if you click on VVox and then press the add button, you can then enter your meeting ID. If you just paste a meeting ID in, it will check to see if it's valid. You press save and that's VVox added into your session. You can see here that it's a live session. So you can look at chat messages, look at the surveys, go back to the info screen and look at that agenda. That's it for this video on using VVox and Microsoft Teams. If you have any more questions or need any help, please do contact us at support at vvox.com.